What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe right now. And if you guys have already been a subscriber, welcome back. So today, 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 as you guys have already seen by the title, your girl is gonna be decorating her patio for Halloween. Now, I know I did a previous video um, shopping for Halloween and fall decor. It was supposed to be like a fall decor shop haul, whatever, but I realized that October comes before November, and I feel like I don't wanna put up fall stuff just to take it down to do Halloween, and then take Halloween down just to put back up fall, and then Christmas. I feel like I should just do Halloween first, and then put up the fall decor, and then put up the Christmas decor. So today, what I'm gonna be shopping for, I'm gonna go inside of Hobby Lobby and I'm going to see if I can grab some stuff to decorate my front patio. Uh, right now, there's just two trees out front and I really wanna make it like very Halloween-y and not really scary, but just something that the kids can really enjoy every time they see the front of our house. Um, and I don't really have anything for inside of the house, but today is just gonna be for the patio. And so we're just gonna go in there and we're just gonna see what we can find. I don't know if I'm gonna record or not because it looks like there's a lot, a lot of people and the lighting is messing up because girl, what the heck? I'm gonna go ahead and close that real quick so we can see if the lighting gets better because that is shining too much on my, it's shining too much. Okay, so anyways, yeah, we're gonna go inside of Hobby Lobby, we're gonna see what we can find. Um, my mom did tell me that they're having a 40% off, so hopefully your girl gets some good sales, and I may or may not bring you guys along with me, just starting the intro, so you guys know what your girl is doing today. So, let's go in here and see if we can find something. guys so as you guys seen um i did record a little bit of like fast forward footage or whatever and hobby lobby literally has no halloween stuff whatsoever i didn't record their christmas stuff but it literally jumped from fall to christmas and i want halloween stuff i don't want to just put up fall stuff outside i really want to get some halloween stuff so what i'm gonna have to do i'm about to go to at home which is like a decor you know place it was actually in like my previous fall vlog i went to at home and they had a little bit of more halloween stuff so hopefully we can find something that relates to halloween and not just straight fall i'm kind of disappointed because i thought hobby lobby would have some type of halloween stuff but i guess not they already have their christmas stuff you guys like they literally had all the ornaments they had freaking trees they had all types of stuff and it was ridiculous like i, I my, my fingers were itching i really wanted to buy some christmas stuff because it's your girl's favorite holiday but i said no i walked out with nothing and honestly that is that is very good for me so round of applause pat on your back girlfriend because that is really good so let's go to at home and hopefully we have better luck Alright guys, so I'm just now leaving at home and as you guys can see, I have some of the stuff in the back. I also have some stuff inside of my trunk and then I also have some stuff up here in front with me. Um, I'm going to pop up a picture of the witch that I wanted on the side over here. 
and I couldn't get it because that was the last one that they had available and it was still for display which doesn't make sense to me because it looks like all the Halloween stuff is already gone why can't I just take this one um, and then I asked for another one that was the standing moving one for the front you know porch or whatever and I couldn't have that one either so I got a lot of stuff for the front porch I am still gonna you know decorate it today and I'm just gonna see how it looks how it turns out and I'll probably just go ahead and order off of Amazon something to put on the side over there it really disappoints me that I can't buy it even though it's for displays I thought that you're able to do stuff like that but I guess not so whatever I got a lot of stuff and you know Hobby Lobby didn't have anything so thank God at home did I spent like 600 and something dollars and that's that's a lot um but Oh, I got a lot of big stuff like that skeleton skull thing that I had bought it was like a hundred and something dollars just by itself the thing is really heavy it lights up so I think it'd be a cute add to the front you know porch or whatever so yeah we're gonna go home and we're gonna decorate all right everybody so I am finally back home and I'm gonna show you guys what the front porch currently looks like um, there's honestly nothing we just have like that tree right there we have a little reef right there the tree and then the mat and that is everything that we currently have so I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on a tripod and just put everything together I probably won't be talking at this point um, so it'll just be music so go ahead and enjoy me decorating my front porch
Alright you guys, so as you guys just seen, the front porch is finally finished. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and comment down below and let me know how do you guys feel. Do you guys feel like something needs to be added? Something should get taken away? What should I do? Make sure you guys comment down below because I love your guys' feedback. I love seeing your guys' ideas and just love hearing what you guys have to say. So with that being said, I'm gonna actually show you guys, show you guys now while I'm talking there for you guys can kind of get a feel of how I was feeling, if that makes sense. So, starting off, here we have the entire front porch just like this. Now, one thing I know you guys are gonna probably say, this wreath is definitely way too small, but it is what it is. It's gonna be there for now until I can order one off of Amazon. So we just have that one. Um, starting over here, down here we have a pumpkin that actually lights up. We also have this inner if you dare little cemetery type thing right here. And then we have a wall thing that says it's always Halloween. Now right here, what was supposed to go right here was the little moving witch that I was telling you guys about. Um, unfortunately, we did not get that, so we had to do what we had to do. Next thing, we have this happy Halloween mat that my son DJ actually picked out in my previous fall decor video. Um, yeah, so this is cute, I like that. And then coming over here, we have this big head skull. Now he actually lights up as well. Um, we have him sitting on this little table with a black pumpkin and another skull with the snake coming out of it on the first shelf and then the second shelf we have this pumpkin with the ghost and he actually lights up as well. And then over here we have the little bitty skeleton dog just sitting here chilling. So one more time guys, this is what the front porch is looking like. Now, this is the front porch. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the grass area is looking like because sorry, there's a freaking moving truck in the background. This happens every single day, not gonna lie to you guys. There's always somebody doing yard or moving or doing something outside of our house. Okay, he's gone. So, like I showed you guys as well that I did add some pieces inside of our little yard. Now we can't add any big inflatable pieces because we don't have a front yard. Uh, we just have a big circle driveway. So, I added some little cute fun pieces. Starting over here, we have this little guy right here, little skeleton, look like he's dancing. We also have a little fun ghost sitting in the background right there. And then we have, please don't wake the dead, they are grumpy. We got him, and we also have some more skeleton dogs sitting over here, look like they about ready to fight each other. And then last piece on this side, it says do not enter. So I don't know if I can give you guys a full view of what this looks like but there you guys go looks like that and then coming over here to this side we have haunted valley cemetery come and stay a while with a nice little glittery um spider and then another happy um ghost along with the do not enter sign that was actually over there as well we have the do not enter right here and then another sparkly uh, spider in the background. Yeah, so that is everything that I got completed today. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn your notifications on. Therefore, you guys do not miss an upload next time your girl posts. Um, like I said, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you guys rated. Um, I think it's okay. This is my honestly first time decorating for Halloween on the outside of our house. So yeah, go ahead and let me know what you guys rank it. I'm gonna give it maybe like an eight. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's cute. Um, it's just my first time and I can always add more or take away and do whatever you know I want to do it. if I start looking at it more and I'm kind of like eh, I don't really like that I don't like that so yeah we can do that so yeah this is the end of the video if you guys did enjoy it then make sure you guys give this video a fat thumbs up like I said but until next time your girl will see you later I am out bye